So it is finally time for my home office reveal. Ah, can you all see this behind me on the wall? This has been my big secret. I wallpapered my office. So let me take you back to yesterday when this whole wallpaper project started and I'm gonna show you exactly how it went down. So good morning to another Vlogmas video and today is the day that I'm going to completely transform my home office from what it is right now, which honestly is a mess with dogs everywhere to something completely different. So let me show you my office as it looks right now and then we're gonna start doing the something. So this is the current situation, right boys? I'm gonna show you where I got everything later in the video, but I just wanna show you what it looks like right now. Mooey and a mess and all the things, Pollux's octopus. So currently this is what the office looks like. So what am I up to? I know y'all are dying to know. First of all, I have to clear everything out of this office. Randy's gonna come in and help me. We are going to put up wallpaper. I know, I cannot believe it myself. We're not doing the entire room. We're only gonna put wallpaper on this wall where my desk is because I could not figure out what I wanted on this wall because my desk is here and my computer monitor is actually mounted on the wall. Everything was weird, like artwork didn't work there, it just nothing fit. And when I found these two pictures that are over my couch and I have this picture over the chair, which is one of my favorite favorites. I've had that picture for at least 10 years. I wanted these in my office and I could not figure out what to do with this wall. Scrolling around on Instagram, came across this ad of a wallpaper company, and I thought, well, that's a fantastic idea. So I went to their website, started looking at their prints, picked out four different designs that I really, really liked, and I ordered samples. So I, when the samples came in, I put everything up on the wall. I was able to eliminate two of the samples right away. I just knew once I saw them up close, they weren't gonna work. The two I loved, I put them up on the wall, stared at them for at least two weeks, and then I made my purchase. So this wallpaper, I'll show it to you when we get it out, but you can get it in a permanent wallpaper or like true wallpaper or removable, like temporary, like you would put it in an apartment or somewhere you're renting. That is what I bought because if I get tired of it, I wanna be able to take it down. I, I know it's not gonna be permanent. I like to change things around in my house. Let me show you the samples that I did buy, and then I'm gonna show you the wallpaper that I picked. I think you are going to be totally shocked. So the wallpaper is from a company called Wall Blush, and I ordered this white with a black print floral. This is what it looks like up on the wall. No, now is not the time we're not gonna play. No, no, no. So this is what it looks like on a, oh me, on a big scale. And then here is true to size. Maxer, can you move? Then I ordered, I thought this was beautiful on a big scale, but when I got the actual print, I didn't like something about this. I don't know. So I ruled those two out right away. Then, look at that. The photographs of this wallpaper on the Wall Blush website are beautiful. And I thought this one was so, so pretty with the black background. It has all of the colors I love, plus a little bit of gold. So, here's what I was dealing with. I will tell you, I eliminated these instantly. And it's down to these two. It was such a hard decision, so hard. I picked this one. Oh, is that not beautiful? Look at those colors, the different colors of purples and pinks with the greens. It is my favorite colors. It is, this is what I want my office to feel like. So stunning. And I picked this rug because I thought it really worked so perfectly. The caramel color in the rug, sir and the khaki background of the wallpaper but we're gonna see when we put this on the wall it's gonna be in a huge scale this is true to scale right here and i have several of these pieces and i actually had them taped to my wall over my desk and i just stared at them i would go out in the hall and i would look i would come back in i'd move them around i was just so nervous to buy this so it arrives like this and it comes in strips oh my gosh that's heavy wow okay i got the peel and stick kind it came with an instruction book 
and a little squeegee to put it on. So when you're gonna do this wall blush wallpaper, you measure the wall, the width of the wall and the height of the wall. There's a calculator on there, you put everything in and then it comes in a certain width of strips and it tells you how many strips you needed to order. I needed seven strips of wallpaper and it looks like they sent me maybe one extra roll just to make sure but from what I saw on their website, this should be pretty easy to do. The trick is you have to get the very first strip completely level and even it has to be 100% correct or otherwise you're gonna get all cattywampus. This is probably gonna take us, you know, most of the afternoon and we're getting ready to pull all the furniture out of here and get started on my wallpaper. So look at all the confetti that was underneath my printer. This is from hitting 100,000 subscribers. This was the big celebration. So we got everything cleared out in my office. We got the walls, you know, vacuumed down and clean. We had to unroll all of the wallpaper. Each panel, I have seven panels. Each panel was numbered one through seven and I had to cut them apart. So it's pretty cool because this company has an app. It tells you step by step, literally what to do and has pictures and very specific instructions, which was great because we're not, you know, we don't know what we're doing. So you have to draw a plumb line on the wall. This is what ensures that your wallpaper is gonna go up exactly straight. So that's what Randy's doing. He's just drawing the plumb line and then we're gonna hang the first panel. But I could tell you just unrolling the wallpaper and seeing it in color, like in my office, it is going to be so pretty. The fuchsias and the purples and the greens are my favorite colors and I cannot wait to get this up there. We got a plumb line, woohoo! So you just mark it on the wall. You can see the pencil mark. Just drew a pencil on the wall. And we go from there.
So we just had a popcorn break. We have seven panels to put up. We have two of them up. Honestly, the first one took us a really long time. We got in a little snit about it. Uh, we just had to figure it out. It was all figuring it out, but we have it figured out. Panel number two went up pretty quickly. So now we're gonna try to get the rest of this up. So we did not get this wallpaper finished last night until almost nine o'clock. Granted, we did leave. We went and had dinner, came back, had to regroup, put my office and my desk back together. We had to cover all the outlets and get everything back on the wall. It was a project. In all, we spent about eight hours on this wallpaper, but it was not nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. It took us probably two hours to figure out panel number one, to get everything out, all the rolls unrolled, everything cut in the proper sections, to just read the directions and figure out what we were doing. And then once we got the first panel hung and got it cut, we were like, okay, now this is gonna go a lot easier. The second panel went up in a fraction of the time. Then panels three, four, five, six, and seven we probably did them in less than five minutes a panel. It was so fast. It was just figuring it out in the beginning, but I am obsessed. I think my office looks so good. It looked so good last night, but first thing this morning when I got out of bed and I rounded the corner and actually got to see my office with the sunlight on it, it made me so happy and total coincidence that the big flowers on my wallpaper coordinate with my pillow on my couch. I have enjoyed being in here all day long. I've been editing videos. This wallpaper really made my day. I think it brought my office to life. It brought so much warmth into the room and really grounded my room and I am obsessed. So if you're interested in my wallpaper or anything about this brand of wallpaper that had so many fantastic designs, I'll link it in the description box below so you can go to their website and check it out. I don't have any affiliation with this company. I just purchased their wallpaper and it is stunning, absolutely beautiful. So now I feel like my home office is finally complete. I don't need anything else on the walls. The rug is great. The walls are beautiful. It's comfortable. It's me. It finally feels like me. So let me give you a little look around the room and tell you where I got everything. So honestly, I've had this table forever. Don't even know where it came from. This is a pot that I got at Hobby Lobby, and these are just greenery sprigs, also from Hobby Lobby. I believe I got this lamp at Home Goods, but I've had it for quite some time. Then a lot of you all asked about my couch. I got this from a local furniture store here in Paducah. It's a Lazy Boy brand. It was on their floor. I just bought it right there. And I'm sorry, I don't know the name of the fabric or the style of the couch but it's a kind of an off-white color. You gonna help me, Moo? With a little bit of gray underneath and just a smidge of caramel color. And then this pillow, I got at Kirkland's. And this one, I think I got at Home Goods, and I just paired them together. I did get these two pieces of artwork at Kirkland's back this summer. This little thing I've had forever. These are just work files and random pieces. Then there is a great big picture of the wallpaper. It is ceiling to floor, and it kind of is a shame that my desk covers up this big pink flower, but there wasn't too much I could do about that. 
lamp, I believe, also came from Home Goods. Again, I've had that for a while. My desk chair is from Amazon. I will link it in the description box. And my actual desk, this is two separate pieces, I got on Wayfair. There's my happy light from Amazon. My little mug that Brecken got me, that is my pen holder. And my acrylic wall calendar, which I think is so fantastic in here. Look how sleek and thin this calendar is. It's from Amazon, guys. This is Maxie's little dog bed, a Pollux Laser 2. Found that at Home Goods. My rug is from Wayfair. I'm obsessed with this rug. It looks so, so good. Then my chair here is from Kirkland's. This little blanket that I have just tossed over the back of the chair. I believe I got this at Home Goods. And then my favorite picture, this is from Hobby Lobby, but I have had this for probably 10 years. I don't see it in their stores anymore. So this is my home office space now. I am so thrilled with the way it turned out. It just feels warm and inviting and the wallpaper really grounded the room and just made it feel like me. Instead of blank walls, it has my favorite colors, the flowers that I love, and I adore being in here now. So thanks for joining me so that I can show you around my private space.